Hello my beautiful amazing people, Uncle Butcher in the building with my favorite bulwark setup which can annihilate legendary strongholds pretty goddamn without breaking a sweat because as you know with title update 20 bulwark gear set received a buff and now pretty much you can be immortal even without shield just look at this barbecue chicken I'm without shield, I'm healing constantly, look at this, boom boom boom, armor back, armor back and Changa is wiped from the server. You absolutely need this build. If you're new here, hit the like, smash that sub. I'm covering Division 2 basically daily and uh, if your day is not that great, trust me, I will try my best to make it a little bit, little bit brighter with bad jokes and really bad uh, taste. Mm. <laughs> anyway, for the setup right here, we are using four pieces from Bulwark gear set, but my mask is Catarsis Exotic Mask and little dirty secret in this one that I'm using perfect galvanized talent. If you don't know what is galvanized, basically by applying shock effect you're gonna gain 50% bonus armor and that armor will be given to your teammates as well. But guys, your shield is pretty much unkillable by elites because we have as well 50% protection from elites and you can reach even more than that. But I think 50% with Bulbar Gear Shed is way more than you need. Look at this, three Changas at the row. Boom, barbecue chicken. Boom, barbecue chicken. I mean, what else do you need? It absolutely slaps. You will have tons of fun and I will explain how you can modify this build to fit your playstyle. But before we continue, quick from the sponsor, Deving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. If you will use my promo code AirBDiv, you will receive 15% discount on absolutely all service. Amazing deal, especially even right now. They have some crazy sales going on, so definitely check these guys out. But now let's get back to my legendary bulwark build. And I think this could be one of the best bulwark setups in the game because you have as well a really decent DPS output. My one of my main weapons, excuse me, is Shield Splinterer with Perfect Optimist. And paired up with Catarsis Mask, you will deal decent damage. Previously, Bulwark gear sets were lacking in DPS department. You should use maybe Liberty Pistol, but that pistol is slow, accuracy and handling is kinda trash. It is what it is, and that made the killing really, really difficult. But now, with Scorpio Shotgun and Shield Splitter, mm, that's not the case anymore. You are badass. Legit badass. For specialization, we will rock Survivalist. Why? We, because we will have increased protection from elites. Medkit, which will heal not only you but your teammates. And status affected enemies will receive more incoming damage. And we're gonna apply status effects with our fire grenades. Really good for crowd control reasons. And basically with our Scorpio shotgun or St. Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle. It depends which weapon you want to use. Scorpio shotgun will work a little bit more efficiently because you don't have to stack it as much as St. Elmo's. Just make a couple shots, boom, enemies are shocked. Gemma pools is really handy for legendary stronghold because you have tons of robotics, healing stations, dogs, mini tanks and that will make your survivability really really good and strong because like I said those drones will not annoy you, healing stations will be disrupted so you can kill enemies much quicker especially for solo players that must have and I think this is perfect combination for the guns I'm using shield splitter with perfect optimist to title up the 20 this weapon is now in top 5 uh, yet I'm saying top 5 because everyone has their own opinion Eagle is top 1, St. Elmo's top 2, FAMAS still top 1 somebody is even throwing capacitor in the mix so I'm just saying top 5 maybe top 3 Mm, possibly top three but it's again debate uh, uh, because it has that uh, mod uh, uh, one mod uh, minus so yeah there is room for I guess uh, mm, 
conversation. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section your top 5 of assault rifles. Second weapon, Scorpio Shotgun, pretty self-explanatory. For the pistol I'm using these, the exclusive pistol Orbit with perfect finisher. For the mask I'm using Catharsis mask and oh by the way, perfect finisher on kill will give you 40% extra weapon damage, excuse me, extra crit damage and capped out crit chance when you're gonna switch to your main weapon. For the mask I'm using Catharsis mask and Catharsis mask is pretty much uh, perfect for bulwark gear shit. Why? Because we are receiving shit ton of incoming damage and at the same time you are stacking catharsis mask. So catharsis mask is good for those gear shits which are face tanking enemies. You are stacking it and at the same time you are increasing your DPS output and with full stacks you will gain 30% weapon damage and at the end you're gonna release uh, healing cloud which gonna heal you really well with bulwark gear set my bulwark gear set right now is with mixed attributes hazard protection and armor regen for the chest piece i'm using bulwark chest piece but you could definitely roll everywhere armor regen i love hazard protection because changas has nasty stinger hives on their backs and in general if something will explode somewhere if you will caught fire Hazard protection can be handy, but definitely you could go everywhere with armor regen. So I'm using holster from Bulwark gear set, gloves and knee pads, but backpack is perfect galvanized. And perfect galvanized is extremely good talent. You can get on the... Look at this armor regen. I'm just amazed and my rolls are mixed. Like I said, I have hazard protection and I have armor regen, like 50-50 split. And still armor regen is insane, this is how strong Bulwark gear set right now is and that's the reason why you can now play around with your attributes. Maybe instead of hazard protection you could go with crit chance. So to increase your DPS op, for example, and if you will use the St. Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle you can definitely reach like 40 ish percent crit chance easily because on St. Elmo's you have crit chance mod. I think 20% crit chance smart. So definitely, and 10, you have 10% crit chance on your Shade Tech Watch. So you can easily reach 40, 45, 46% crit chance easily. And Bulwark Gear Shot right now is extremely dope. Armor again strong. Your Gemmel Pools will take care of all the annoying skills. Shield Splinterer is dealing tons of DPS. You have Scorpio Shotgun to proc Galvanize Talon and in general to be immortal, so enjoy this build.